A new study published in the British Journal of Ophthalmology found that kids <coughs> need glasses for nearsightedness more than ever. Globally, one in three kids has developed myopia, and according to the World Health Organization, 40% of the world's population will be nearsighted by 2030. Dr. Kumar is here to tell us all about this. Good morning. So good, good morning. To you. So what exactly is nearsightedness for those who may not know, and what is happening to the eyes? Yeah, so nearsightedness, like it sounds, things that are close are clear, things that are in a distance um, appear blurry. The technical term is myopia. The visual system is very complicated, particularly the eyeball, particularly the eyes of young kids, which are developing very quickly. Now, when you're nearsighted, what's happening is the eye loses its spherical shape and it gets elongated, kind of like an egg, an egg shape. Why is this such a big deal? Because as you get older, it puts you at risk for cataracts, glaucoma, retinal detachment, even blindness. And so right now, we have four Four and five-year-olds that are developing myopia. Why are we seeing such high numbers? Screens, screens, and screens. Mm. You know, having these devices has brought the world close to you, but that's not what the human eye is supposed to be looking at. The human eye was supposed to be looking out into the distance. It was supposed to be looking for predators, looking for food, and we are spending so much time indoors looking at screens that the eye is actually changing. Now, nearsightedness was always thought to be, have a genetic component, but the rise that we are seeing can't be explained just by genetics alone. So what can be done to prevent it? Well, let's get off the screens first off. Um, get outside during the day. Now, it's important because, you know, kids have homework where they're on screens, where they're looking close by, but looking out the window is not enough you, because you cut off your peripheral vision. You know, there's boundaries. You want to, kids should really be spending about two hours outside every day. And when you are looking at screens, you want to take a break and rest your eyes. Get sunlight, believe it or not, just that sun exposure helps the shape of the eyes. And really interesting, there's a clinic that was started um, by a pioneer, Dr. Maria Liu, and they have myopia control lenses now, which almost are like retainers for the eyes. Children wear them at night and they can reshape the eyes back into a normal shape and correct the problem. She started this clinic in Berkeley. The work she's doing is fascinating. But I just want to add, this study that found the, these findings, they checked 5 million children from 60 countries all over the world. So this is happening everywhere. Dr. Nidhi Kumar, such important information, cardiovascular disease specialist. We appreciate you taking some time. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And you can see Dr. Kumar's segments every Monday at 7.15 a.m.